Howdy again everybody, this is Doc with Thorofan and next to me is a small little filing cabinet here that I have been carrying around with me probably close to 20 years now. It's gone with me everywhere that uh, you know I've gone over the last 20 years, uh, undergraduate school and then uh, vet school and then around my various moves as a veterinarian. And it was just always kind of there. I never really uh, remembered much about it or, or what was in it. I assumed it was just kind of most of the stuff from vet school. But, uh, you know, the other day I finally got around to cleaning it out and seeing what was in there. And I was shocked to find that not only were a lot of really cool things from my vet school days in there, but I also had some great photos taken uh, back in the 1990s uh, and even a little bit before that some were taken by my father who got me involved in racing uh, one that's amazing of, of the mighty Forgo winning at Belmont and uh, you know easy goer cigar more than ready a, a fleet Alex when he was just a two-year-old and and it was just amazing to me to look back and and remember all of those horses that really I grew up watching and admiring and we all of course have those horses and I was very lucky uh, to live on Long Island as I was growing up and of course Belmont was right there aqueduct uh, and being able to go up to Saratoga as well uh, and see all of these top class horses c compete at the tracks and I think everybody has some f photos like that where uh, you know they look back or they find them and they remember some of the stories behind those horses or the times they were at the track one of the first times I was ever at the track actually uh, with my dad was uh, that shot of Easy Goer when he was winning what I believe was the Jockey Club Gold Cup that year. Uh, and it's just uh, so great to be able to look back and, and remember why we really became a fan of this sport. And so I figured, you know, us here at Thurafan, we, we want to see some of your photos like that. We want to see some of the photos of horses maybe that you followed throughout the years if you still have them. Uh, you know, the ones that kind of really inspired you to get involved in racing, if you've got any of them. You know, having the professional ones done, of course, is great. I mean, you know, they're, they're fantastic photographs, but I think sometimes the ones that hold the most value to us as racing fans are the ones that we took ourselves. Maybe before a horse became as popular as they were, maybe their maiden race, something of that nature, or, or a minor stakes or something like that. So if you do have a picture like that, go ahead and scan it and send it into us here at Thoroughfan, and we'll be happy to go ahead and, uh, you know, put it in our newsletter, maybe put a section on our website up about it. Uh, you know, just kind of thinking back to remember why we really got involved in this sport so uh, I'm gonna see if I can find any other treasure troves of photos around here of uh, that might have been taken by my father or myself when I was a wee lad uh, just learning about the racing game so I uh, hope everybody uh, did enjoy the Belmont Stakes and uh, the wonderful card of racing that we had that day uh, of course we at Thorofan are gonna be watching everything especially all the developments with Hissa coming up uh, very closely as well as my buddy Scotty comes in here to join me he enjoyed his time away as well but uh, again if you do have any of those photos be sure to send them along and of course if you are looking for everything and anything that is involved in this great sport of thoroughbred racing you really want to only turn to one source and that is the source that provides all the information for you the racing fan from us the racing fans and that is right here at Thoroughfan. Mm-hmm. <laughs>